can you see here there is a slide representing we manage so this is the sign of we manage right so all your centralized management your configuration monitoring everything is done with the help of we manage we manage can be a esxi based device also right or you can manage it with the help of we center so uh, let me make it a simple for you so you will get the image of we manage from cisco you can install it on the esxi server right or you can install it on the cloud right and what is the use of we manage it is used for centralized management clear next we have we smart right so we smart deployment is also same so these are virtual devices right these are always deployed on esxi right second thing what is the use of we smart for exchanging the routing information for traffic engineering traffic engineering means for path manipulation for policies for vpn policies what do you mean by vpn policy so vpn is the term used in case of sd wan fabric and it is very similar to vrf we will discuss it in future wait for some time service chaining is also a concept that we used in sd wan right so let, let's not uh, dig too much into these terms now, right now we will discuss about them in future encryption key propagation i told you that we smart is also used to exchange the ipsec keys after that we have we bond so it is used to bring up the secure it is pro, it is used to provide us the secure bring up process right so any appliance which needs to be added to the sd wan fabric needs to be a part of your needs to authenticate itself to we bond right and in the end we have the vh devices webtela right so this is how a webtela vh devices looks like right so this is the hardware specializations we have for a vh 1000 series hardware right so this is the webtela 1000 series device it is one rack units there are eight 1g ports right we have a separate management port a console port usb port some leds they are there sd card slot is there and one new thing is there that you have to read about and i will be discussing these things tomorrow what we call them yes all these appliances are always virtual right so what you can do is you can bought a cisco uh, c or u series server right and you can deploy on those servers right now uh, read about tpm chips what are tpm chips i want you all of you to read about them right so every vh device will have a tpm chip right so what is the use of this tpm chip you have to you should be knowing about it so this is how a vh 2000 device looks like so it is a bit bigger than the vh uh, 1000 so this is how a vh 100 looks like right so the difference is only in the capacity and no else difference is there or no other difference in the working and this is how a 100 m device looks like so every device will have one thing that we call a tpm chip right now guys look this particular picture so let's start from the bottom all your sites will have what sort of devices vh right so they are the devices which are responsible for the data plane let's say any traffic want to go from home office to the data center so they will be forwarded by the vh on the home office sites to the data center by are these transports what are these transports it can be internet it can be mpls right after that we have these controllers right what are the controllers we have we manage we smart we bond what do you mean by we manage we manage is used to provide us the gui of the fabric for all the sd wan components that we have over there 
what is we smart we smart is there to provide us what the routing functions right we bond we bond is there to provide us authentication right so this sort of lab you can build on your own if you want to build right so you can see the simple lab but we will be using our own lab right so we will not start it like this right so before starting with the actual topic i want to explain you what do you mean by overlay network and interlay network so guys just look look here right so let's say this is your physical network these are four routers connected with a cloud so guys don't get confused with this cloud so this cloud is also a router nothing else right this is r1 this is r2 this is r3 this is r4 right now what do you want you want you want okay someone has a question sir one watching we we bond we smart we manage everything is virtual you have to install it on your esxi server and second thing i told you they can be deployed on the cloud also and 99% of the cases this is the case people are deploying it on the cloud right now guys try to understand what do you mean by the overlay network and the underlay network right underlay network means my physical network so let's say this is 201.1 this is 202.1 this is 203.1 this is 204.1 now if you are not clear my ip is actually 201.1.1 i am omitting these ones right i am not mentioning these ones here so i am simply writing the ips right so this is my physical network or my underlay network and as for this router r5 all these networks are directly connected every router will be able to reach the other side so on r1 define a default route define a default route define a default route on all the routers so what will happen is all these underlay ips will be reachable right so the first thing that we require is we require to build the under underlay reachability so let's if i talk about this lab also let's say let me go to the lab okay more actions start all nodes so if i talk about this lab also right so let's say this is vh3 fine so if i want to bring in vh3 to the fabric so first what is the requirement vh3 should be able to reach all the controllers so that is the underlay reachability i am talking about it means the ip address which is present on the wan side of vh3 should be able to reach the ip addresses of v manage v bond v smart all these devices right so this is called underlay connectivity now what do you mean by overlay connectivity right what do you mean by underlay and what do you mean by overlay right now let's say you are clear with underlay underlay means the physical network the that we have right so overlay means the network which i am building over this network right so just assume it like this that these are your sales users right and what you want for sales users you want this sort of connectivity what sort of connectivity you want just look here this is for the sales fine you want r2 should send all the traffic to r1 and r1 will forward it to r3 it means this this topology is called hub and spoke right you want for sales sales traffic for sales traffic if r2 want to communicate with r3 r2 will go via r1 right what we call it hub and spoke let's say this is hub and these are your spokes 
right? So this is my overlay network that I am building over this underlay network, right? And what I want is this particular traffic from this particular sales server to this particular sales server should travel via R1, right? Okay, this is one type of overlay network I want to build. Second type of overlay network. Let's say guys, these are your marketing servers. You want to connect them in a full mesh. Full mesh means whenever this server want to communicate with this server, they can go direct. So fine, this is for which servers? This is for marketing servers. And what we want here? We want this overlay network to behave like this. That when, when R2 send traffic from this sales server to this sales server, right? Sorry, from this marketing server to this marketing server, it will go direct. It will not go via R1. So you can see we have one physical network, but over one underlay network, I have built different overlay networks. I am correcting myself. I just speak that wrong. Over one underlay network, I am managing two different overlay networks. Right, over one underlay, we have two different overlays. Underlay means how they are connected, how they are physically connected. Overlay means how we want them to communicate, how we want them to communicate. Clear guys? So I can connect all these routers depending upon what service I am connecting from one side to another side in a different way, right? So for a sales, I can have a different topology. For marketing, I can have a different topology. For HR, I can have a different topology, right? Clear? So we are forming different overlay networks. Now, if you are clear with this, I hope you will be uh, awesome, right? You should be awesome with my point number two. Now let me write, what is underlay network? Let me write it, what is underlay? Underlay network is there to build the IP reachability. IP reachability. So let me show you a small underlay network example. So in this example, I have four VHs, right? So you can see, VH1, VH2, VH3, VH4, right? So this is the underlay, underlay or the physical network that we have between these VHs, right? Now, what do you mean by the overlay network? So by default, by default, what is the rule? By default, one VH will try to build a logical tunnel, logical tunnel. Let's represent it with T and let's call it what? overlay tunnel right with all available VHs so in this case it will be with this also with this also and with this also right so VH2 is going to communicate with all the VHs directly direct 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 right so this is your which network overlay network right <coughs> Any problem? So guys, I think we are clear with what do you mean by underlay and what do you mean by overlay.